Welcome Protégé. In the last tutorials we showed you how to do 1D and 2D for loops and for our final tutorial on for loops we're going to show you how to do 3D for loops. We're going to continue where we left off from tutorial 14 so let's get started. We need to add another nested for loop to our to our 2D matrix. So now we'll have two nested loops inside of our outer for loop. This first outer loop is going to be our counter for the 2D matrices within the 3D matrix. For example, if i equals 1, this will start at the first matrix within the 3D matrix. To grab that number, we already have our image size variable which has the dimensions of the image. We want to index into the last element of IMG size. Our next for loop will be our counter for the row that we're on. And it will be, we will embed these two for loops inside of this for loop for our 3D matrix. And finally, we have our for loop to traverse across that row. And we want to end at the number of columns within that matrix, so we pass in 2, or we want to index into element 2 of IMG size, since that's the number of columns here. And like the previous for loops, I'm just going to display i, j, and k onto the screen and then calculate the sum of all the pixel values within the 3D matrix. And for this 3D matrix, we need three end statements to terminate each for loop. And since we added a new variable, we need to go ahead and add this to our variable declaration section and set that equal to zero. Let's go through the first iteration of this, th of this 3D matrix. We'll start out at i equals 1, and like I mentioned, this is the counter for the 2D matrix that we're currently on in the 3D matrix. For example, we'll start out at 1 and this will be the first 2D matrix of the 3D matrix. Next we'll go into this for loop and this was our row counter. So we'll start at row 1. Next we go into this for loop. k equals 1. So we're at row 1, column 1 and we display i, j, and k and calculate the sum. And here we will index into row 1, column 1, and the first 2D matrix of the 3D matrix. When we go through the second iteration, i will still be 1, j will still be 1, and this k will keep incrementing until we get to the end of the image which was at column 512 when we reach column 512 we will go into this for loop and j will now be 2 k will start over at 1 these two inner for loops will iterate through each 2d matrix and once we finish the first 2D matrix of the 3D matrix, then we will go back to this outer loop and increment i to 2, which means that we're now on the second 2D matrix within that 3D matrix. And we will iterate through that 2D matrix, calculate the sum, so on and so forth. 
and let's go ahead and make sure that 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 this runs and this will really take a long time because we're iterating through each pixel within a 3d matrix so now we finished the first 2d matrix and now i equals 2 we're iterating through the second 2d matrix and the second 2D matrix finished and now we're on the final matrix within the 3D matrix but uh oh notice that we did not cast our image variable and we got a truncation here and I don't think the sum of all the pixel values is 255 so let's go back and cast cast this like we did up here let's try a uint32 and see if that is big enough and I'm going to comment out this display so it's a lot faster for us to get the get the final sum of all the pixel values in the 3d matrix and yep looks like we got the correct answer this time but again we want to verify and remember how we had to have we passed in the sum of that 2d matrix inside another sum to get to return a single element to do this on a 3d matrix we have to pass a sum within a sum within a sum and these answers do match so we know that our algorithm is correct For a quick recap, we went more in depth into for loops and we showed you how to calculate the sum of all the elements in a 1D matrix. We showed you how to calculate the sum of all the elements in a 2D matrix. And remember that we had to nest a for loop inside of a inside of another for loop to be able to access all of the elements within that 2D matrix and we also showed you how to access all of the elements within a 3D matrix and for that one we had to have two nested for loops inside of this outer for loop that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching please subscribe below or leave a question or comment